Before I start this video, I wanted to let you know that these exercises come from Elizabeth Darling, a top physical therapy doctor who works with Team USA athletes. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a series of mobilizations of the nervous system to help release tension in your hamstrings, going from this to this, without even stretching your legs. Before we get started, let's evaluate how tight your hamstring is. Lay down on your back and grab behind the knee and make sure that your upper foot is completely flexed. Hold behind the knee, then pull until you feel tension in the hamstring. Once you feel tension, stop there and this is where your starting point is. We are going to begin by massaging out the base of your skull by slowly looking up and down. In this video, I am using a small yoga wheel, but you can also use a tennis ball or a foam roll. We are going to massage out the base of the skull right here where the hairline begins. Now lay down on your back and place the foam roll or whatever you are using underneath the base of your skull and slowly look up and down 20 times. Up next, we are going to look from side to side 20 times. Once again, make sure that you move very slow. You might need to adjust the foam roll or the tennis ball if it slips down. Now we are going to roll out the piriformis, which is a triangle-shaped muscle in the back of your butt. You do not have to cross one leg over the other because this can make the massage too intense and lead to more soreness and potential bruising. Just make sure that you are rolling out right here in the back of your butt where the piriformis is located. We are going to roll out this area 10 times on each side.
Now let's switch sides. This next exercise is very simple. All you need to do is roll the neck from side to side, slowly stretching out all the muscles in the neck. Up next, we are doing a slow forward roll into a crouched position, then roll back up with the weight of your hands gently resting on the back of your head. Make sure that you do not use your hands to pull on the neck because this is unnecessary tension. Just gently roll forward and then come back up with your hands resting on the back of your head. Repeat with me 10 times. This next exercise is a nerve flossing technique, which includes lots of body waves. Start by placing your hands behind the back and look up, then wave the arms forward as you drop the head. We are going to repeat 10 times.
Up next, we are going to cross one leg over the other in a number four position. Start by crouching forward, bringing the chin to your chest. Then look up and pull the shoulder blades together. Repeat with me 10 times. Now let's switch sides. One more exercise to go. Slowly roll forward into a pike position until you feel the tension in the back of your legs. Then do two flex points and then roll back up. We are going to repeat five times. Now together, bring the chin to your chest and roll forward. Three, two, one, and flex point, flex, point, and roll back up. That's one. Again, roll forward, three, two, one, and flex, point, flex, point, and roll back up. Three more to go. Roll forward, three, two, one one, flex, point, flex, point, and roll back up. Two more. Roll forward, bring the chin to your chest, and flex, point, flex, point, roll back up. One more. Roll forward, three, two, one, flex, point, flex, point, and roll back up. Now that we have completed these mobilizations of the nervous system, let's check the hamstring flexibility one more time. Lift one leg to the front with a flexed foot, then grab behind the knee and pull until you feel the tension in your hamstring. Hopefully you had similar results to me because my leg definitely went further the second time around after doing those exercises. 